To use Line Learn, you need to put your own cues and lines into the app. There are several ways of doing this and it can be a useful part of the learning process. Here we have an email with a PDF attachment of a script we want to learn. Tapping on the script, the email app allows us to open the PDF directly with Line Learn. The app asks for confirmation before importing the text from the PDF file. Note that some PDFs contain just images of the text rather than the text itself, in which case LineLearn will not be able to import the text directly, but more about that later. The script can now be seen in the LineLearn text screen. Here we can edit the text, if necessary, removing anything which does not form part of the actual lines, such as the title and scene description at the top of the page here. And here is a page number, which we can also delete. The text can be tidied up later when viewing individual lines. Note that in this script, the character names are in block capitals, with the spoken text starting on a new line. To convert the text into a line learned script, tap the Convert button at the top of the screen. Here we can see that the app has automatically set capitals plus new line as the character name delimiter the convention used to identify the name of the character who speaks the following line. Depending on the text, other delimiters may be set in error, so it's as well to check. By default, the script title has been set to the title of the original PDF file, which you can edit here. You can also add the name of the author, but that's optional. Tap OK and the conversion process will begin. And here we are back at the Lines screen, where we can see that the conversion has been successful. In another example, suppose you've downloaded a script onto your device. From the script screen, use the Import button to view your Downloads folder. Last time we used a PDF, but here we have a .docx, or Word file, which can also be imported. As before, the extracted text appears in the LineLearn text screen, where it can be edited as necessary. Again, we'll remove the scene description. Note that formatting of this version of the script is slightly different. In the previous example, the character names were in block capitals followed by a new line. Here, the names are again in capitals, but followed by a full stop or period, with the spoken text following on the same line. As before, we use the Convert Text to Script button. This time, the monologue option has been pre-selected, which would treat the whole script as one line. We don't want that, so deselect it. Scrolling down the list of delimiter options, we find the Capitals plus Period option. We need to select this manually to match the convention used in the text. We tap OK and see that the script title has again been taken from the file name. We can opt to fill in the script author field, as before, and tap OK. Back at the line screen, we can see that the conversion process has completed successfully. If you only have a printed copy of a script, you can still import it into LineLearn with minimal typing. First, on the Scripts screen, add an entry for the new script. You can use the Add New Script button at the top, or the big button at the bottom, they both do the same thing. We give the script a title, and tap OK. Open the new script, which of course does not yet contain any lines. Use the Script as Text File button to open the text screen, which of course contains no text. What you can see are just hints for the various script formatting conventions recognised by LineLearn. You can actually type in your whole script here, but it's not really the right tool for the job. Instead, go to the home screen of your device and open the Camera app. Here we can see a printed copy of our script. Camera apps differ between devices, but locate the button to open Google Lens. In Google Lens, select the Text option. We can also turn on the camera flash to make the image as clear as possible. Next, tap the button to take a photo. Lens will now read in the text from the page. When Lens has highlighted the text, tap Select All and then tap Copy Text to copy it to the clipboard. Now switch back to the Line Learn text screen, where we can paste in the text from the clipboard. Now we can switch back to the Camera app, select Google Lens again, and repeat the process for the next page. Select text, turn on the flash, try to keep the camera steady and parallel to the script, and take a photo of the next page. Again we tap Select All, Copy Text, and return to Line Learn. And now we can paste in the text from the next page. 
Now we can scroll back to the join in the pages and clean up any unwanted text, such as the page numbers and page heading we see here. Also, as before, there's a title and scene description at the beginning of the text which we can cut. Now we're ready to use the Convert Text to Script button. Here the character delimiters are already set correctly to capitals plus period. We tap OK and the text is broken up into the separate lines. Now we can use the Characters button to see the list of characters in the scene and we can select the appropriate character and set it to be My Part. In this instance we're going to play the part of Cecily. We save the change and return to the list of lines, where our lines are now highlighted in yellow. Now we're going to use speech recognition to dictate our cues and lines. Again, we need to start at the Scripts screen, where we add an entry for our new script. To keep things simple, we're going to use a different script, which we're calling Importance Revisited. Next, we open the script to go to the Lines screen, which is currently empty. Tap on the Add button to add a new line. As we've not named any characters yet, LineLearn has assigned this first line as a cue. This can be changed if necessary. Tap to place a cursor in the empty line, which brings up the keyboard. However, we don't need to do any typing here. Instead, we can tap on the microphone icon just above the keyboard to start Speech Recognition Input and speak the first line. Hello, Lane. And there it is. Tap on the microphone again to stop Speech Recognition, close the keyboard and swipe left. LineLearn saves our new line and asks if we want to add another. Tap Yes and a new line is added, this time assigned to an automatically created character called Me. Again, tap in the empty speech field to open the keyboard. Tap on the microphone, speak the new line, Hello, sir, and tap on the microphone again to turn off speech recognition. There's actually no need to close the keyboard, you can just swipe left and tap Yes to add the next line. Tap to place the cursor in the empty speech, tap the microphone and speak the next line. How are you today? We haven't bothered with punctuation in the previous lines, but let's just type in a question mark for clarity. Then swipe to save the line and move on to the next. Tap the empty speech to place the cursor, tap the microphone icon and speak. I'm very well, thank you sir. Tap the microphone again to end the line. Swipe left and tap yes to add the next line. Tap to place the cursor, tap the microphone and speak. Have you seen the piano, Lane? I seem to have mislaid it. This is another line where punctuation will help, so we can just tap to place the cursor after the word Lane and type in a question mark. Swipe left to save and add the final line. Tap to place the cursor, tap the microphone and speak. I have not seen the piano since yesterday, sir. Perhaps it has been stolen. Here we can see that the word sir has been misheard as so, which we can correct manually. We just need to tap to place the cursor after the wrong word, use the backspace key to remove the error, and correct the word in the usual way. And we can add a period or full stop while we're here. As this is the last line, we can tap on the Save button and return to the line screen. Here we can see that the lines have been assigned in turn to the two generic characters Q and Me. If we want to rename the characters, we can tap the Characters button to go to the Characters screen, where we can tap to open the first character in the Edit Character screen and change the character name as appropriate, in this case to Algernon. Now we swipe left to the next character, whose name will change to Lane. Note that my part has been set for this character, but we could change that here if it was wrong. Now we tap Save to return to the Characters screen, and then tap the Up button to return to the Line screen. So we've demonstrated three ways of getting a script into LineLearn. Extracting the text from a document file, using Google Lens to read the text from a printed page, and using speech recognition to dictate the text directly into the app.